Um, this is the interesting news. So if you remember yesterday, I kind of teased that I saw something when I was capturing the installation of the lift hill. So this is me in like that little forest um, with the zoom lens. I, I know I can see really far, um, but all righty. So we have a construction update in person today. So today was Saturday, which means I was able to go into the park and get some awesome footage for you. So at the beginning of the video, we're just going to go over the actual construction project itself. At the end of the video, you'll see, um, you know, the shots of the actual completed drop and lift hill and all that all together. So as you can see, the footings for the Immelman are done. Um, at this point, they should be cured enough for them to install the Immelman. And from what um, I'm expecting and hearing is the Immelman should be done by next Friday. So again, the last weekend operations for Canada's Wonderland, you should be able to get some awesome shots of the Immelman complete, the drop complete, the tunnel complete, and the lift hill station transfer track and all that complete. That's a lot done by the end of the season. So that was a little bit of a sneak peek. There's a separate video coming out after this. I have discovered what the speakers are for, or I have pretty solid evidence what the speakers are for. And I'm gonna present that to you guys in a separate video because it's to do with theming and all that, hint, hint. Um, so as you can see here, this is the transfer track area. So one of the transfer track or storage building areas, sorry, one of the storage buildings has its uh, buttons all there. I don't see any wiring, so that's not hooked up yet. But um, you'll see some wiring in a second. So they'll probably be installing all that very shortly. Again, the coaster is supposed to be done by end of December. Um, and then they'll start working on the theming and all that. And I'm now predicting a ton of theming from what I saw today. Um, so here, the, here are those cables. These are for the transfer track areas. It says right on them, TT. Um, uh, actually, that one's for the rollback and dog check. Um, so that's probably to do with the station. There are some that say TT, transfer track um, one, and TT two, so transfer track two. I'm assuming that means like storage shed two, storage shed one. Um, but yeah, lots going on in the station area that we haven't been able to keep up with with no weekday operations. So that was interesting to see. Um, so pay close attention to the speakers, but I'm not going to reveal too much yet. Um, uh, but this is really exciting. Um, and it's definitely a new era for Cedar Fair. And I, I look forward to seeing, um, what they're going to do with this, but I, I can almost confirm that they are not, um, lift spiel speakers. They are not. Um, and you'll see that in the video that will come out probably an hour max after this video. Um, so there was, um, the, the final piece of the lift hill was installed the other day. Um, you'll see in a couple shots where it looks like it doesn't fully align properly right there. Um, so it doesn't, f it didn't fully align properly, properly, but I'm sure that's as simple, a, a quick hammer and then weld it together. Um, they can fix pretty much anything. So that was interesting. Uh, the wind station was up and it was turning. <laughs> um, so again, as of next Friday, the implement should be complete. So, I'm assuming that they'll bring in, I, I don't know if they need these heavy duty cranes to uh, put up the rest of the coaster. So I have a feeling they'll bring in some other cranes and get rid of those ones. And they'll start erecting the rest of the coaster because they're going to need some more mobile cranes other than those two that require a lot of uh, space and a lot of um, flat lands and all that. Um, but yeah, lots going on in this area. So they dug it out. So the trench is now dug out and it is really deep. I was not expecting it. They are really uh, removing a lot of the um, kind of level land in this area. So if you look closely, there, there's a, like a lot of um, so even the trench, but outside of the trench, the area has been kind of leveled down a bit. So that was interesting. And you can see the orange spikes that uh, that resemble where the footings will go. So those have not been dug or poured yet. So no footings poured or cured in this area. Um, so they'll probably start those shortly, I'm assuming within the next week or two. But again, they are definitely like on time or somewhat ahead of schedule. Timberwolf's queue line has been somewhat um, <laughs> destroyed uh, to make way for Yukon Striker. So we'll see what kind of queue line comes for Timberwolf Falls. The fencing over there in the back corner has been removed and there's a bit of a little bit of clearing um that has taken place um i did not was not able to get fully 
a good shot of it, but there are definitely orange marking markings on trees back there. So that's what's interesting. So you'll see in my next shot, there are orange markings on trees. So I'm assuming that this is going to be almost like a Frontier Canada area, and you're going to see some buildings going in. We know that there should be a pond. Um, I don't know if the pond marker was actually just to throw us off or if it was actually serious. There's going to be a pond. But here's some of those orange markings I was talking about just a second ago. Um, so the trees do have um, some orange markings. So who knows what they'll put in there? Maybe, you know, like an ice cream parlor um, or, you know, uh, we already have like the Northern Gift Store. So an ice cream parlor, maybe like a panning for gold type experience. Who knows what'll come? There's lots of minor teasers on Canada's Wonderland's blog posts on their website. So go check them out. Um, this is the interesting news. So if you remember yesterday, I kind of teased that I saw something when I was capturing the installation of the lift hill. So this is me in like that little forest um, with the zoom lens. I, I know I can see really far. Um, but yeah, there's definitely lots of discussion going on about the behemoth and Mindbuster area. So definitely lots of pointing up in the sky um, and uh, talking about who knows what, but holding what looked like if you saw him tilted a bit towards us, like a, a map of the area. So it was like a, almost like a, a Google satellite image of the area from what I could tell. Um, so that's interesting. We know attractions are planned uh, three to five years out. So who knows what it could be? It could be just a paint job on Behemoth. Could be RMC, could be GCI, or it could literally be nothing at all. <laughs> who knows? Um, anyways, this is where I leave you off with some awesome shots of Yukon Strikers lift and drop completed. This thing is absolutely massive and impressive in person. If you haven't gone today, go tomorrow or go next weekend and check this thing out. Use that last little bit of your season pass and go enjoy Wonderland before it's down for the season. Next year, we'll have Winterfest, so we'll have a bit more to enjoy, and I look forward to it, and I couldn't be more excited. Um, so definitely go pick up those gold passes or platinum passes for next year. They got some really great deals. Um, and yes, again, awesome content is coming in November. So stay tuned for that behind the scenes tour. And uh, hopefully you guys really enjoy the shots of Yukon Striker. So I went around at almost every angle of the park to get you some shots uh, of this beast. So uh, stay tuned for my video that'll be out within an hour once you've watched this. And enjoy the rest of the, the video uh, while you wait for that other video to come up. As always, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, share this video for others to enjoy, and keep having an amazing weekend. Have a good one, guys. Bye.